we can see the push rod attached somewhat sketchily legacy system and the potentiometer connected to the old angle sensor. So as we change the angle here, we can see that the servo system is in fact moving along with the old system that's not connected anymore. I've turned up the rudder angle of attack to be a little more bow up. Okay. Uh, it seems to be doing a lot better here. I'm riding pretty consistently. My hand is pretty much just pushing about forward. Uh, here we're I'm flying. <laughs> Alright, what just happened? Servo mount broke. Servo mount broke. So we are back on land after the first test. Made it to 23 knots. Um, you can see that there was a bit of a failure though. It was working, uh, but the servo came loose from the box. Box is solid, servo loose. So you can see that the push rod right here it was free to fail. So let's make that a little more robust. What's really exciting is that we have now, instead of the set point on here, these knobs on the box, we now have it a mobile set point. So it's on my tiller extension, which is what changes the rudder. And I'm always holding this. So you can see we have a little knob here. When I change that, you can see that the set point is also changing. A P term, change proportional, D term, derivative, and if we want to turn it off, all we got to do, emergency stop, just hit it. And the servo's then free of moving around. Stopped responding, box is off. Let's open her up, see if she's filled with water. All right, moment of truth. Oh! It is so filled with water. Oh God, disconnect.